back boys. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to install the paddle cluster in a classic 911. Now, I almost didn't post this video. Th this was a terrible job, all right? So I'm going to tell you that if you can reinstall your pedal cluster, you can probably drop your motor and transmission and reinstall it, no problem. This was worse. This was so much worse. So I did not even film the end of it, but hopefully some of these tips will help you guys. I struggled with this. I thought it was going to take like an hour. It wound up taking me like, I don't even want to admit it, probably like six or eight hours. It was really bad. I, maybe maybe there's tricks. It, maybe I'm doing something wrong. If, if, if someone can get this done in an hour and they know how to do it, please leave comments below to help people out. But I'm just saying this was like the worst job I've done since I bought this car. So let's get to it. All right, so the thickness of the paint on my clutch arm caused the bushing not to go in, so I just used the C-clamp down here, which was super fun. Now we're gonna try to get the pin through it, see if I mangled the bushing too much so that the pin doesn't fit in, that'd be sweet. All right, we got two player activity here because this is so stupid. Honestly, dudes, this is more annoying than taking the freaking motor out. I don't understand how anyone's supposed to do this. You're supposed to get that clutch clevis thing, the little fork, on the clutch arm and put this pin in from the back so that if ever wears, you can push on it. If you go in from this side and it wears, it can lock itself in there. It can be a giant pain in the dick if you ever need to change this. So I don't know how you're supposed to do it because you can't get access to it from over there. The only place you can do is put your head here and then put your arms in front of you like a little little squirrel, but then your, your freaking arms are in the way. So I had Sarah underneath the car, pushing on the cable. That didn't work. I figured it out. All right, so just uh, don't have your pedal in the right spot. Have it at an angle. Pull everything forward. Bring them this way at an angle. And then you can just grab it and work where there's more room. Again, put it in from the inside so that if it ever gets stuck and worn, you can pop it out. All right, awesome. Let's, uh, let's keep putting this back together. Yeah, just... No, no, hang on. The uppity boy who didn't think that me coming over here and reaching across would be helpful asked me to do what? Just go... <laughs> just go down that way. Use your hands. We're doing hand stuff. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. So push push on the clutch pedal to keep it on the ground. And then All I'm the going to... All the way down? Yeah. See where that spring is going to go? Right where your thumb is, kind of? You're the best. I'm gonna put my hand through the steering wheel here. Oh, I see what you meant. All right, then I'm gonna grab with it. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. Hang on, I'm gonna need a little bit more. Man, I gotta say, this f***ing pedal assembly is more annoying than dropping the goddamn motor. There's a huge spring here, which just wants to like snap your goddamn fingers off. There's this bar that I forgot to put on, so I had to take off the bolt where it attaches, and that also holds the stopper. Trying to get everything aligned because of this spring is so annoying, and I don't know how you would ever put this in with, with it together, because that would need to go up there, which means you couldn't move this sideways to get the clip in for the clutch. Like, this sucks. Like, rebuilding this? Cake. No problem. Just easy peasy. But putting this pedal assembly in sucks ass. I have been at it like three hours now and it's just extremely uncomfortable. My hands are next to my mouth. Like, God damn, I hate this part. This is the worst part. This is the worst part of doing the whole car so far. This, the pedals. All right, pedals are in. I'm so annoyed. I had to take the spring out. If you want to reinstall the spring, I suggest jamming washers in between all the coils to help lengthen it. So that's what we're going to do next. And then we're going to reassemble the floorboards and the gas pedal and see what happens. Spring hack, use washers and safety glasses because some of this stuff might fly at you.
Not gonna lie, dudes, it's been a few days. Unbolt everything, remove the fucking spring, and twist it at an angle, and that's how you're gonna be able to get that clutch arm hooked up. It's the only way I think you can do it, because put the metal here, so there's no way to reach in there and put on a freaking clutch arm. So, now that the clutch arm's on, I'm going to reinstall this, and the spring is now working a little bit. The reason I had to pull this out on the first place was the torsion spring on the brake pedal slipped a little bit when I installed it, and it wasn't giving the full force to the pedal. I don't know, just make sure your spring is in the right spot for that brake pedal, because this is why I'm redoing it, and this is a massive pain in the ass, and I don't want to know how many hours I've wasted of my life trying to get these pedals in. It sucks. I'd rather pull the motor again. This is terrible. Oh my God, it just keeps getting more fun. This is the brake rod. It is impossible to put the brake rod on with the pedals here because of this part, which means I need to unscrew the thing holding this freaking brace on in order to get this on. And you can't install this, you cannot install the assembly with the brake rod on because you need to pin it there and it's gonna be pushing on that a little bit. This is so annoying. Holy All right, boys, so what I wound up doing, I didn't even film it, I was just too pissed off, but I wound up uh, disconnecting that brake rod just uh, by loosening the, the joints on both ends. And then I put each end on separately and then screwed it back on and just, dude, I, I don't know. I don't even know. I th Honestly, putting this in, I've just, erased it from my mind. It was terrible. I'll pay someone else to do it. All right. Cheers, dudes. Next episode is going to be the master cylinder and I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we will get this thing on the road.